Hey guys, what is going on? It is Taboki here once again, and it's time for another Maple Monday. March 24th, 2014, and a glorious Monday we are having. I got some exciting news for you guys. MapleStory GMS is receiving a few new updates as well as KMS, and I got some news on MapleStory 2 as well. Last week we had a Maple Monday challenge. I asked you guys to submit me a picture of your own made up MapleStory monster. I have received some awesome submissions. I wanted to go and take some time to talk a little bit about them. Some of you did provide some background stories on your made up MapleStory monsters. Totally awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the Maple Monday submissions. All right, start off our Maple Monday submissions. Spirit Dagger created the magic sleepy shell. Love the description. Has the power to attack little innocent noobs from level 1 to 10. Sometimes could be fatal for experts level 1 to 100. Super attack. Get this, ladies and gentlemen. With the small tentacles coming out from its shell can come out of the screen and make the player sleeping. And then he drains the HP from his character slowly. So this monster actually affects real people putting them to sleep what a killer thing rainbow moo moo created by crodite from windia level 142 this little adorable colorful creature do not be fooled though in wing attack mode this creature turns evil ready to kill and the tail buff mode is sleeping and adorable this is not just any ordinary soap this is potato scented soap sean has created the potato soap monster that is the last thing you would want in your bubble bath Nick's Maple Story monster of evil creations is a poop slime snowman. He doesn't only throw slimes at you, but he throws poop at you as well. Cookie LOL has created a party slime wizard <laughs> and is throwing electrical slime balls, which will be very messy in the future. Yami Kage O2 has created the boss Poseidon, and she has also put a little side reference of a mapler so you know how big Poseidon actually is. And Yami Kage O2 I also provided a backstory, so Poseidon is the very fickle god of the Twisted Seas, which would explain the weird mobs that we see, and he hates all maplers. He only sees maplers at somewhat worthy after level 200, and only somewhat worthy. Someone has stole his trident, and he thinks you stole it. Complete his tasks and quests to unlock his daily challenges for Meso prizes. Noi Panda has created King Barilosa. He's a dual wielding axe, dragon, beast, mythical tail thing glorious derp prom king has appeared <laughs> this would be a terrifying maple story monster he would try to give you a rose that will suck your face off casperian drake is located in future sleepy wood and he's level 205 with 72 million hp and he gives 224,000 exp that is OP. And the last submission is by DJ Grizzle for Shizzle. And it's the surprise banana. And the HP is very elite and drops banana babies. Glorious submissions indeed. I uh, thank you so much for submitting them and taking the time. I hope you guys did enjoy last week's Maple Monday Challenge. This week, unfortunately, there is no Maple Monday Challenge, but you guys can always submit me any sort of Maple Monday submission to thedeboki at gmail.com. Hopefully, just hopefully, it'll be featured next week's Maple Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys know I love to start the Maple Mondays off with some Maple Story 2 news. Last week, we saw some of Maple Story 2 classes. Just a rough sketch. We weren't really sure what they were. Classes for Maple Story 2 go Berserker, Knight, Wizard, Priest, Ranger, Gunslinger, Chief, and Assassin. Now those were really rough sketches. There's no color, there's no really character building on those classes. Maple Story 2 has now released and revealed a few of their warrior classes, the Berserker and the Knight class. So here is the Knight class, and it says it is all Knight's responsibility to charge forward in battle and protect those behind them. While blocking enemies' unstoppable attacks, they strike enemies at the perfect moment with their fast and skillful swordsmanship. That is a pretty sweet knight right there. I really like the artwork, really like the picture. Now we can only hope that it'll look that great in game, right? The next class is the Berserker class. As you can see, it's a two-handed sword, almost like a charge and go. Tanky, crazy person. Almost looks a little evil, like the Demon Slayer, which is pretty awesome. Got the fangs coming out there. They're releasing a lot of pictures on MapleStory 2's website, and I'm super excited to see the rest of the classes, especially Rangers. Those classes look pretty cool, and the artwork is really 
really great, so cannot wait to see more on MapleStory 2. MapleStory GMS. We are receiving something pretty cool coming up this week, actually. It's called the Grand Athenum update. MapleStory has released an awesome trailer showing what is going to be coming with this update on their website as well as on their YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and link you guys a video in the description below. You guys can go ahead and check it out. They also have the update previews on their website, which looks pretty awesome. So there's a new theme dungeon, Grand Athenum. It seems like there's another little storyline that is happening with this dungeon. You gotta be level 100 and up to enter there. Also, a new big PvP boss arena is coming out with this update. This allows Maplers to fight each other with MapleStory bosses. Two people go in, one person becomes a boss and the other one is a Mapler and they're battling head to head. And then once that battle is over, you guys switch roles, the other Mapler becomes a boss and you become the Mapler. And then the score tallies up at the very end to see who did better, who died less, and who killed the boss a lot better than the other. Of course, new rewards, new perks, new bragging rights, it all comes with this update. It seems pretty awesome. A lot of good things are coming out with this update. Skill revamps are coming out as well. The Cannoneer and the Dual Blader are getting revamped a little bit with some new skills. Cannoneer gets to shoot out this huge monkey ball that rolls around the map and hits enemy monsters. The Dual Blader gets to flip around with some more blades. And the last thing I wanted to talk about this update, actually something I'm super excited for, it's the Cross World Party Quests. We are able to party quest with people that are on different servers, so if you're in Kaini and you want to party with someone in Windia, you can do so. That is pretty awesome, it's like that one step to bring all the servers together, which would make MapleStory really super fun. I feel like some of the servers are really dying off, so if they could just kind of populate the other servers, they do have a lot of servers, and I do believe there's a lot of MapleStory players, but if you scatter them around too many places, then they become looking like they're scarce. A wild Mapler has appeared. This update is coming out on March 26th. If you want to see more about it, go ahead and check out the MapleStory website as well as their trailer video. The last thing I want to talk about is KMS. KMS is finally receiving their last Cygnus Knight revamps. The Blaze Wizard, Mage Blaze Blaze, and the Nightwalker are getting revamped in KMS. It took a super long time for them to revamp this, but Nexon did release a letter, and you can find this on Orange Mushroom's blog, and this letter shows that they wanted to take time with this, and they want to hear feedback from the community, but finally, the Blaze Wage Wage Wizard and the Nightwalker are getting revamped, so cannot wait to see their panties in action. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys did enjoy this Maple Monday. There are some exciting things happening. Maple Story 2 is releasing more and more information about their game, and it seems like it's getting closer into release dateness. Don't forget to get your Maple Monday submissions in to thedeboki at gmail.com. Have a great week, have a great Monday, and have a great day. This has been Deboki, and we'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye!